I got up a little before you and fed David Jr. Is that her hamster? David Jr. <laughs> David Jr. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. It's an old key that's been sealed in the museum. There we go. Is this the sewer key? The rusty key. We can go play around in the sewers. Poo poo slime. Not again. What's up with me seeing these doo doo slimes all of a sudden? This page for someone's diary. Damn. Harvey's really anxious and weak. But I know he would make a loyal and devoted husband. He likes coffee and pickles. What kind of f combo? Elliot is a bit foppish and melodramatic, but he does have a nice chin. Shane is messy and antisocial, but I think his gruff exterior is a defense mechanism. Nah, Shane's just a dickhead, that's what he is. It's a note of Maru's parts to need for my greatest invention. Yeah, that's stuff she likes. Maru kind of expensive. People are telling me Haley's a gold digger. God damn, you see that that Maru likes? She said diamond, gold, iron, iridium. Like, what the fuck? She might as well put, I like money. What a description. The only redeeming quality is his chin. <laughs> that boy got a chin. Get married and start. Boy, do I got something to tell you. Where have you guys been for the last week? Casimir getting rich arc. I want there to be a Casimir getting rich arc, but it's kind of hard to do in the winter. Mermaid show. What the fuck does this mean? Taking a screenshot. Taking a picture. And you know Abigail loves chocolate cake, but like, I'm not, I'm not gonna give it. She gave me a bomb? It begins. <laughs> the fucking terrorist Abigail arc begins. She said, you heading out to the wild, I got you something. <laughs> Here's a bomb. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, a traveling merchant fleet will dock at Pelican Town for the yearly night market. The market starts at 5 p.m. and will be in port for the next three days. Free coffee? That's what I'm more excited for. He said, the <laughs> he said that pussy isn't the only thing that's a, a bomb Dude, these like short hops they got me doing like crazy what what was i supposed to do i was landing i couldn't get a jump off that quickly oh my i hate it i hate junimo kart never playing it again i'm gonna push that wheelchair guy down the road you get a junimo kart system in the mail if you beat abigail Wait, what the fuck did I just say? <laughs> you get a Junima cart system in the mail if you beat, you know Abigail is a gamer. I don't know, beat Abigail just came into mind. I don't know why. I'm not saying I, I'm not saying I beat Abigail. But like, that's the first thing I popped into my head. Is mayo good to sell? <laughs> Gotta be good to sell, right? Better than just eggs. I'm gonna start selling mayo. They're gonna know me as the white sauce, man. Well, let me get that white mayo sauce. Kaz cream. <laughs> Casimir's cream farm. I wish I was old enough to see the mermaid show. What, what happens in the mermaid show? <laughs> Is there nudity? Big green cane stump. <laughs> Whoa, this is cool. Oi there, want to take the deep sea fishing tour? No, not yet. Hello there, care for a cup of coffee? Hell yeah, let me get a cup of coffee. Can I get another one? <laughs> wow, I thought the coffee was free. Come on, give me some more. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Maybe the mermaid show will calm my nerves. What if they think I'm ogling? What? The Clint is a fucking weirdo. Hmm, a Lupini original. Not bad. Ah, uh, Lupini. Some paintings for 1200 Should I buy a painting from Lupini? Oh, I bought that. That painting. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, Lay, I just bought that Lupini original. You know what I'm saying? We fishing on the bottom of the seabed. You know how it is. All my fishing is luxury. Caught whatever the fuck that was. Spook fish. <laughs> Caught your ass. Ew, blobfish. Now, these are the type of fish I would put in my aquarium right here. Oh, shit. Okay. Whoa! Why is Jazz not old enough to watch this? I better see some titties or something. Like, uh, why, why is this like a private show? One, five, four, two, three. It's like Avatar. <gasps> Pearl, a rare treasure from the sea. All right, that was a cool event. I kind of don't like how it's in real time though. Abigail, you missed it. I was staring at mermaid boobies. Just kidding. I would never do that. No, take that down. We're putting the red eagle up. Spent a lot of money for that red eagle. Clint. Bro, where the fuck are you going? 
I hate this dude. I hate, I hate half this town. He probably wonders why nobody likes him in this town. Because he does shit like that. He doesn't fucking do his goddamn job. Lazy fucking bastard. God forbid Clint has to work a fucking shift for more than five minutes. Look at Abigail blending in with the statues. Have I talked to her today? <laughs> I have. Why is she like standing right there? <laughs> My boy's selling another Lupini painting? Bro, I might need to buy this. I'm a big Lupini fan. <clears throat> Thank you, Lupini. I'm your biggest fan. Do I watch the mermaid show again? Can I get another one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hold up. I installed the nude mod. You guys can't watch. <laughs> what you guys think? I was in that shit. Yeah, I'm here right when you open. What you about to do? You about to leave? Ah, oh, of course. Of course. Lupini. I don't know Lupini. This one kind of sucks. The other ones are nice. It's Lupini season. I'm just like Lupini, but instead of making works of art, I just, I don't know. <laughs> instead of making works of art, I just smash Abigail. Stardew Valley Pierre's stash. One of the most sought items in Stardew Valley's is Pierre's secret stash. If you want to check Pierre's stash, you need to do a quick check on his house around 9 in the evening. A cutscene will follow and you'll enter his house, heading straight to the bedroom. On the left side of the bookshelf, you'll find a secret stash of some sort. Pierre will then appear and confront you. <laughs> Two options will then be available. Your secret is safe with me will net you a large sum of friendship points with them. Some speculated that the secret stash is opera music. Some find it to either be porn or drugs. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I'll get Pierre on my good side by blackmailing him. Do I have to walk in like right at nine or what? What's the move here? It's closed on Wednesdays. Why am I even here, bro? <laughs> I fucking hate his store. I hate Pierre. I'm over here wasting time. I'm just here for the free coffee. Same. Low key. Same. Me and George might not be so different. Whoa. Hold up now. I see Mayor Lewis. Mayor Lewis has seen that picture of Marnie. I see you, Mayor Lewis. He's just like me, for real. Mayor Lewis laying down pipe. <laughs> in the bushes. I know, they got like houses and shit. Y'all doing it in the bushes? Oh, another bomb. Thank you. <laughs> so kind of you to give me more bombs. Hey, Casimir, I would like to give you some information about an upcoming event, the Feast of the Winter Star. It's time for the community to come together and think back on all the good fortune we've had this year. Favorite tradition is the secret gift exchange, where everyone in town is randomly assigned to someone else. On the day of the festival, everyone brings a gift for their secret friend and surprises them with something special. This year, your secret friend is... Come on, Abigail. That would be a perfect matchup right there. I would be fine with Abigail. I'd be fine with one of the other girls in the town. Um, I wouldn't be fine with Clint, Pierre, Pam, Shane. Lewis, I would be fine with. Marnie, she's cool. It's Emily. Oh, God. <laughs> Me and Emily are like low-key getting close together. Not on purpose, bruh. And I don't like Emily. Not like I, I, I don't think she's a bad person it's just you know she's not she's not my type of person she's the one that kissed me without permission that one time as a married man too so i don't know about this they're trying to match me and emily together bro what the fuck why do people do this is that like a bug in the game i literally walked in as soon as it opened i walked in as soon as the fucking place opened this bitch talking about all right Gotta go do some. I hate I hate all shopkeepers that do that. They deserve worse than death. <laughs> they, got, they got drugs in this. It's like 85% lean. lean. I'm in 85% lean. I'ma drink some of that lean. What's Linus been up to? I haven't seen Linus in a long time. I think he like fell into the lake or some shit. Drowned. <laughs> Is he smoking? Oh hell no, I don't fuck with Sebastian anymore. This dude's worried about what's for dinner. You better worry about your fucking lungs. Shane, my guy. All right. <laughs> Shane don't really fuck with me. I don't really fuck with Shane either, but you no, know, I could change my ways. I could change who I am. I don't know if Shane can, but I can change my ways. All right. I'm going inside of Pierre's. Here it goes. It's not nine. It's closed. I've been lied to. Somebody told me 9 p.m. on the dot. We're wasting time. How am I supposed to expose Pierre? I'm making the mayonnaise machine. Lupini. Look at my Lupini collection over here. 